Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jay, and today we're going to be talking about the initial setup on the 2022 Flyer Explorer. I've got an itch I can't scratch. I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me. An open wound scar to see. Everybody come here, gather round. Welcome to the freak show, the best in town. <laughs> What the hell's wrong with me? I don't get along with anybody, honestly. I've been living in my own head constantly. Thoughts jumbled around. Think I need a new lobotomy. Okay, so first things first is we are going to prep the canvas on this tip out bed. And I'm going to be doing this one handed. So bear with me. But at the same time, it will show you how simple it is to set up this mini trailer or should i say micro trailer so we're going to go ahead and open up all the latches so we have easy access to set up oh, and open up this side here okay this ramp door is ex extremely lightweight and so is that tip out bed so <clears throat> so what we're gonna do here is get the pole. Um, I got the pole right here, and get that pole up there. Snap that in, and snap it right there, and that's it. Now. I also, just for safety measures, I'm gonna pull out the mattress just a bit to the very edge. So in case any water does leak in on the initial prep, it doesn't um, wet the mattress. I think that's good enough <clears throat> so that's the first one now while we're doing that let's go ahead and take a quick peek inside and see if if any water came inside so I don't see I don't see anything so that's a good sign So what I got here is a level, measuring tape, blue painter's tape, of course a pencil, and a bracket. Now when I bought this trailer, I couldn't find any mounting hardware for, the, uh, for this bracket. I found these bolts, no nuts, no washers, I could only assume that this is intended for the mounting bracket for the LP uh, but I do I do have some other hardware that I that I bought um, just in case but we're gonna go ahead and try it with this first first step is we're gonna go ahead and mark it according to Intech it's supposed to be 10 inches off the edge and an inch and a half off the bottom up so we're gonna go ahead and tape it so that way I can go ahead and mark it.
this drill bit is a 3 16 and seems to be the correct size in tech did not give the best instructions when it comes to this mounting bracket so I couldn't find the video online to uh, <clears throat> to explain how to do this so hopefully we're gonna get this right and uh, we'll see Here I have some Loctite clear silicone. It's waterproof and it uh, it's amazing. It's indoors and outdoors. And I use this in every camper and trailer I got because it seals everything. It doesn't dry and crack off. And, and if you ever have to peel it off, you just peel it off and put some new stuff. So this is great. And coincidentally enough, because it's so great, I just happen to have one laying around. Again, Loctite at your your local Lowe's or Home Depot, I would assume, but I bought this at Lowe's. there now again my trailer is a little bit at an angle so I'm probably gonna use this um, leveling stick to keep my my door here open while uh, while I hook this up but we want to test out the link so we're gonna go ahead and connect this here get you guys a little closer here Go ahead and open this up here. Now this has like a little lip, so when you open it, you have to kind of pull up and then lock it back in, okay? So, we're gonna put it on light. Oh, there we go, and we're gonna go light. And I don't know if that's coming out on camera, but that is definitely on, so that works. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the D-rings, but before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and spray the tip-out bed one more time. So I purchased these D-rings on Amazon, they're quarter inch D-rings. Uh, I think they hold about 2,400 pounds of breaking strength. Of course, we're gonna be putting this into what Insect says is a 3 8 uh, of an inch thick wall. Um, this did come, and I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link to this, but it did come with, here we go right here, one inch screws.
all right so as you can see D rings are in I was able to use the one inch screws I missed the beams inside so if you want to do the same thing it's eight inches from the edges and you should be fine with the one inch screws that come along with these D-rings and the black plastic caps look great so now we'll go ahead and test it Okay, so as an added bonus, you can use the same straps that came along with the 270 awning to tie down anything you're gonna put against this, this wall. I definitely will use a pull strap versus a ratchet strap because you don't wanna over time with a ratchet and have these D-rings pop out. There you go guys, that definitely looks like it's going to work. Alright guys, so... I had a little issue with the camera there for a second. I think my battery died, I don't know. But, propane cover right here. A little opening there so I can get to the connection. I already did the third, uh, third wash there or, or rinse to seal those threadings and uh, and I installed the D-rings to hold up my tables and chairs. Guys, if you like the video, give me that thumbs up, share the video, subscribe, and uh, I'm gonna see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.